Hi everyone, Dr. Levy here, and today I'm going to talk with you about men's health, specifically prostate cancer and how prostate MRI plays an important role in the diagnosis of prostate cancer. So the workup for prostate cancer typically begins with two tests, a digital rectal exam and a blood test known as a PSA or prostate-specific antigen test. And if either or both of those are abnormal, that will prompt your urologist to do further workup. Now that further workup historically has been and still is an ultrasound-guided prostate biopsy. However, MRI is playing an increasing role before the urologist does these ultrasound-guided prostate biopsies in helping to pinpoint whether there is cancer, and if so, where the urologist should target. So let's go through some images, and I'll show you what I mean. So these are two images from a prostate MRI. The image here is a axial T2-weighted image. So the patient is lying on their back. This is the patient's front. This is the patient's back. This is the patient's right side. This is the patient's left side. And I'll draw your attention to the prostate, which is in the middle of the screen here. This is normal looking peripheral zone prostate tissue here on the right, and then on the left, the same, this whitish grayish uh, signal. And this is a high suspicion lesion. So this is a dark lesion in the right posterior peripheral zone. This is abnormal. When we look on our color enhanced images, we see this area of uh, red, which is an area of increased enhancement. And then we look on one additional sequence, and this is a diffusion-weighted sequence, which looks for a restriction of water movement. And there's no restriction in this, more, in this more normal tissue here on the right or on the left, but on the right posterior aspect, we see this darker area, which is restricted diffusion. So because this is abnormal on all three of these sequences, this is a high suspicion lesion and one that um, has a high likelihood of being prostate cancer. This is a safe and easy exam for the patient to undergo. Um, historically or, or years ago, patients had to have an endorectal coil in order to have a prostate MRI. That no longer is the case. Um, the exam is done in 40 minutes and all it requires is for the patient to have an IV started for a contrast to be injected, and then they lie on the table and uh, the images are obtained. So once we have these images and we have our report, what we do is we localize this image for the urologist and tell them this is an area that they have to specifically target. These images are sent over to the urologist and they're able to fuse these MR images with their ultrasound so that they can directly target this area. You can imagine if the urologist is taking 12 random samples, it's possible to miss this lesion or only sample a portion of it. So this MRI plays an important role in the urologist's ability to diagnose uh, prostate cancer and di diagnose it more accurately. Hope you enjoyed this. I uh, hope you learned something about prostate cancer and prostate MRI. And if you have any questions about this, please reach out to us for more information or talk to your uh, urologist.